Einen wunderschönen guten Abend, meine lieben Freunde. Ich bin's wieder, euer lieber Odo. Wir sind zurück im Disco Elysium. Yay! Und wir sind gerade dabei, einen Mordfall zu lösen. Schauen wir mal, was passiert, wenn wir jetzt die Hardy Boys auf das Ding anschauen. I've got nothing to say to you. Why are you wasting your time? Okay. It's you again. What is it? Okay. Also Hardy. I just found a bullet in the hanged man's head. Let's go over the rape victim again. Again? Seriously, man. Fine. Fire away. I think I... I don't know. Okay. Enough about it then. Yeah. Whatever. Classy says she wasn't raped. Fuck. I knew that fucking whore couldn't be trusted. Uh -huh. For the record, Titus Hardy did not explicitly specify the victim as a whore. Nor did he say uh -huh. anything about trusting her. Oh, shut up and stay out of this, Liz. He okay. raped her. He was out of his fucking mind. You have no idea. Mm, yeah. She's just in denial, asshole. You don't understand the traumatic experience. She's shutting down. And she doesn't fucking trust you. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, she's crazy, you know. A crazy bitch. You know the type. She's fucked up. This is a diversion. Stay on track. Das uh, Problem ist, ich habe Kim nicht bei mir. Es wäre klüger gewesen, das mit Kim zu machen. Crazy. What are you talking about? She was very lucid. I did think that. Yes. She's a little crazy. Cut the bullshit. Lawman, I'm at the end of my goddamn rope with you. I fucking told you not to push her. Okay, jetzt sind wir tot. And you went and pushed her. I am gonna fucking... Titus Hardy. Okay. Success. Titus backs off. Fist down, everybody. Okay. Everard personally sent me to take care of this. If this goes south, we'll all be in the shit. But you, Titus Hardy, are going to be buried. Am I understood? Mm-hmm. When she's angry, she emphasizes the S. It gives her voice a strangely hypnotic quality. Her lips barely move as she speaks. Okay. Frankly, it's a bit terrifying. <laughs> Someone has to rush in to break the tension. The second in command. Look, Copper. We know that that fuck was a rapist and a killer. We got him confessing to it on tape. Ah. Uh -huh. Show it to him. Second tape. in command. What's the harm, right? Here, jerkwad. Listen to this shit. And then come back and tell me the soldier of the apocalypse was an innocent man. This is their last play, this tape. Their story is in tatters. A mess. It might be nice to listen to, but at this point, you don't need to. Why should I care about the tape? You lied to me. So what's on this tape? Yeah, can I listen to this? You don't care about evidence. The fuck are you a cop for then? Big T. They don't care about getting the truth. They care about getting convictions. They are fucking keeping a score on their bulletin boards. I won't be on your bulletin board. If you don't listen to the tape, we got nothing to talk about. 
There's a lot of questions. If you ask them now, they'll just keep bringing up the tape. Listen to it, and they'll have nothing to hide behind. Okay. What's on it? We call it the door gun, a mega mix. You'll know why won't you listen to it. Now that is intriguing. You had me a door gunner. Avistos? Where did you get this tape? You think we go into this shit deaf and dumb? You RCM aren't the only ones who know how to bug people. There's no university degree for that. Actually, hmm. there are a few. Crypto analysts, radio officers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you have one, smart ass. <laughs> das musste ich einfach sagen. We have machines. We're in logistics. How do you think a harbor works? It's advanced stuff. Ah. Uh, how long have you been listening to the communication? Since way before their chief started taking swing lessons. Okay. Things got nice and quiet after that. Is this this? Which one of you is doing this advanced radio work then? It's not advanced. You just hold up in a coop all day, writing down what they say. It gets hot as hell in there. Okay. Don't put yourself down, Angus. It's also, Angus. <laughs> yeah, man. You're like a radio genius or something. Those notes are some in-depth stuff. <laughs> Indexes and shit. Okay, where can Where I can listen? I listen to this? Why don't you try shoving it up your ass, genius? Yeah, play it with your ass, cocksucker. Okay. Okay, okay. Easy, fellas. Give the guy a break. He's obviously one of God's special people. Don't forget your tape, lawman. Compliments of Titus Hardy. You do that. Oh, and keep it. Maybe you'll need a reminder of human eyes. Okay, das mit dem mit der Bullet werde ich ihn jetzt nicht fragen. Dazu nehme ich mir den hier mit. Allerdings weiß ich jetzt schon, was ich machen kann. Ja, oben in meinem Ding kann ich mir das anhören, oder? Uh, oder andererseits funktioniert das etwa nicht. Magnetic tape acquired from Titus Hart. It supposedly holds a recording of the mercenary task radio communications recorded by a de-encryption machine station. Not a good omen. Requires a boombox to play. Okay. Gut, äh, dann würde ich fast sagen, waschen wir uns zuerst einmal den Tod runter. Ich müsste noch in unsere Wohnung reinkommen. Okay. Words fail to describe how rank it smells in here. They should have sent a poet. This is not the cleanest bathtub in the world, but it's cleaner than you are right now. Mm -hmm. ah, that soap scum smell. It smells like life, at least compared to you. Run yourself a bath. Yeah, okay. The bathtub slowly fills with water. The water beckons. Okay, lass uns aussehen. The water is only lukewarm, but still comforting, like amniotic fluid. A few beer cans are bobbing up and down along your flanks, like sad duckies. Oh. You feel nice and lonely, and so, so tired. 
Ja, doch, ihr Bierkind. Ich kann es weitergehen, Bob. As do your thoughts, aimlessly splashing up against the sides of the tub. Your fingers grow pale and are covered with tiny whirls as the water cools. Oh. Imagine something. You see, oh, the cool. you can wieder. still smell the cadaver on you. It's going to take more than one bath to get rid of that stench. Then, houses along a narrow street. A video rental. Darkness on the planet's curvature. Oh. Oh. Um, no. The water line recedes as you stand. You are cold now. Your clothes stick to your still moist skin. Okay. Wir haben uns geduscht. Nicht gut. Es ist 10.30 Uhr. Ah, warte mal. Können wir da das Ding reingeben? The compact tape player is still and silent. Seems it has completely broken down now. The machine okay. was made in Revachol by a company called Le Mercier. Their logo depicts the triple towered Delta skyline. It was supposedly built to last. There's no fixing this one. Great, but now, well, shit. Let's find a new player. A boombox. Funky style. Maybe the guy at the pawn shop can help out. Hm. Okay. Gut, ähm, wir werden uns mal das Geld von Fritte holen. Das ist mal das Erste. Das Zweite. Wir werden zu Joyce gehen und unsere, unsere <lacht> privaten Sachen jetzt. Hast du noch Neues zu sagen, junge Dame? Just a moment. And there's no public phones nearby? The closest phone booth is down the coast. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Okay. It's fine, I understand. Thank you anyway. I'm glad to see you again, dear. Good day, ma'am. Everything all right? Please don't trouble yourself about me, sweetie. I was just hoping to make a call, but the Whirling's phone line isn't working. Okay. The union office probably has a phone, but I can't really get there. Or to the phone booth down the coast. And Gary's phone is dead too. Okay. No mystery here. This is Clausia's handiwork. She cut the line. Okay. Why did you need to use the phone to anyway? the young woman who's house-sitting for us know that we may be delayed. Morel, my husband, and our friend Gary were supposed to get back by Monday night, but they're still missing, and I haven't heard from them. Okay. I was also hoping she'd heard from Morel. Okay. A little missing persons puzzle might just be the thing to take your mind off the hangover. Okay, I'll bite. Has your husband gone missing before? That's just it. This isn't like him at all. He always plans his expeditions so carefully. Okay. But you have more important things to worry about. More important than a missing expedition? I don't know. Expeditions often lead to something interesting. What is this expedition your husband was, about, was on? So your husband is some kind of scientist. Tell me more about morale, looks, character. Your relationship, about your pin. Uh, Just some field work, sweetie. Morel is a highly trained scientist. He and his assistant Gary are studying an extremely rare species of insect. Okay. But they should have returned by now. They were just going down the coast across the water lock to set a few traps. He said they'd be back on Monday. Und jetzt haben wir schon Mittwoch. The water lock. That was broken. Could this be it? Mm. Klar. Wait, who's this Gary person? Do you trust him? Oh, sweetie. It's nothing like that. Gary's okay. as loyal as they come. I trust him with my husband's life any day. Okay. Water lock to the other side of the coast was broken. They probably just over there. Oh my. What happened to the water lock? 
It looks like some maniac crashed his motor carriage into it. Probably Jacob Irv. Wouldn't you know, it's blocked by a big butter billboard. Fell right into the water. Okay, oh, we sweetie. Let's go. If it weren't for you, I'd nice be looking up. forward to another sleepless night. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay. Listen, sweetie, I hate to ask, but if your investigation happens to take you to the other side of the Aber coast, natürlich. please do keep an eye out for my husband. Canada. This will surely lead to a cryptozoological mystery with that extremely <laughs> rare insect. Yes, some left field scientific research is exactly what you need right now. Funk up that vanilla murder investigation. Okay. And if you see him, let him know Lena is waiting for him here at the Whirling. He gets so tangled up in his work that he may not know the water lock's been repaired. And it's cold out there. If I see him, I'll let him know you're here. When or if I get there. Yeah. Oh, you're such a dear. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, natürlich. Ich weiß. So your husband is some kind of scientist. Oh, yes. A zoologist. A crypto zoologist, to be more precise. Okay, was ist ein Kryptozoologe? It's really just a subfield of zoology. One specializing in animal species that are so exceedingly rare that many assume them to be extinct or even fictitious. Okay. Also er sucht nach fiktionalen Tieren. Searching for such species called cryptids is difficult and often thankless. And ah, frankly, das Monster von Loch Ness ist ein Kryptid. Lazy to do it. Universities these days are rarely interested in supporting real research. Uh, ja, natürlich. The quality of research at Revisholian universities has been on the decline. But you doubt there was ever a time when cryptozoology was embraced <laughs> by the academic elite. Okay, cool. <laughs> She's completely internalized her husband's struggles. They are her own. Less worried about husband, plus one has the green ape pen. Maybe you could convince her to tell you about some cool cryptids. Okay. Tell me more about morale. Looks, character, your relationship. Oh dear, I'm not sure where to begin. What does your husband look like? Hmm. Well, his expression is slightly grumpy, but his eyes are always bright and curious, like a small boy's. And his palms are quite coarse from all the field work, but he's quite gentle. You can't go around forever sure feeling grown men's hands. If you want to find her husband, you'll need more concrete information. Mm -hmm. It's always a challenge to describe the person you know best in the world. Okay. Try again. Why don't you try describing him as you would one of your cryptids? Oh, well, he's a bit shorter than you, but with a larger frame, and he has longish white hair, usually a bit uncombed. You might say wild, even. Okay. One other thing. He'll likely have all kinds of field gear on him, even if he's not out in the reeds, you know, just in case. Okay, how long have you been married? We'll be celebrating our 16th anniversary this autumn. Not the most numerically satisfying anniversary, but I like the less obvious milestones even more somehow. Okay, how did the two of you meet? By a dating agency, I'm ashamed to say. I was looking to get back into the scene after recovering from my accident, and he'd just divorced. Okay. We hit it off, and, well, here we are. Okay. I hope I've been useful. That is rare insect your husband is looking for. Oh, sweetie, it's fascinating. But I shouldn't bore you with entomological minutiae. No, I want to hear about the insects. Yeah, sure. well, isn't finally. It's a phasmid, technically, but... Ah, yes. Phasmatodia. A diverse group of insects whose bodies resemble twigs, leaves, ah. that sort of thing. Ghost insects. Colloquia. Um, Geist, Heuschrecken und ähnliches. Oh, yeah. Here comes the interesting... 
Where other fads myths imitate sticks or leaves, this one's a living reed. It disguises itself among the reeds here on the insular Indian coast. Ah, okay. Also, um, reed is, glaube ich, na, uh, wie heißen diese Dinger? Ich möchte den deutschen Namen nicht ein. Am neuesten der See gibt es einen Haufen davon. Ja, whatever. Vielleicht fällt mir später. Hence it's named the Insul Indian Phasmid. Perhaps you'll end up co-discovering it with us, officer. Okay, vielleicht, wer weiß. There's a touch of awe in the way she enunciates the creature's name. Okay, what makes you think the Phasmid is around here? Well, some teenagers making out in the reeds saw one. They they didn't know what it was, of course, but there was a brief article in a local newspaper about their encounter with a ghost insect that looks like the reeds. Gary sent us the clipping. Okay, so a newspaper clipping is all the evidence you have? Of course, most phasmid sightings turn out to be false alarms, but their description matched the insular Indian phasmid perfectly, and they didn't even know what they were looking at. Okay, so is it dangerous? <laughs> Not at all. Why else would it hide itself so carefully? Yeah, sure. Valuable. Oh, I doubt it. No one gets into cryptozoology for the money, sweetie. Uh, does it have a cool, does it have cool powers? Yes, it can blend in almost perfectly among the reeds. It's how it stayed hidden all these years, centuries even. Ah, uh, mir liegt der Name auf der Zunge. Reed, reed is. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> oh dear, I'm afraid I'm not explaining this very well. It is very special. Ich sollte nicht auf die Dinge drücken. Immer wenn sie anfangen zu reden, verschwindet das Zeug wieder. Um, ja, was auch immer. Morel can explain it all much better. I wish you could hear him describe it. Then you'd understand, I'm sure. Okay, fangen wir sie noch mehr Kryptiden. You're an enthusiastic idiot, but you're still an idiot. Danke. I want to know everything about cryptids, living cryptids, extinct cryptids. <laughs> Danke, suggestion. Sorry, sweetie, I, I can't get into that just now. Gart did say he could deliver a telegram for me earlier, and I should really notify our house sitter about our delay. Oh no, she's making excuses. You're not interested enough to talk cryptids with. Nein. Dabei waren wir so gut. Na gut. Jetzt auch von Namen. Okay, wir hören auf für heute. Was ist das da? Das wow. So someone's been a little boring. What? No, I'm not. Ich bin boring. Wollte er jetzt gerade sagen, dass ich ein boring Cop bin? Superstar Cop? Sorry. Boring Cop, echt jetzt? Ich habe schon viel Boring Cop Sachen. Communist, Fascist, Ultra Liberal, Moralist, Good or Bad Cop, Honor, People Killed Free, Cases Solved to 16, Reason Service 18. Hm. Ah ja. Wie weit sind wir hier? 59%. Meine Damen und Herren, ich wünsche euch einen schönen Abend. Schlaft gut und träumt was Schönes. Wir sehen uns.